Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are looking at the Meta Human Creator, something that the folks at Epic Games have just announced and this is a high fidelity digital human creator. Now imagine trying to make high quality models like this one and you know it's definitely going to take you some time especially if you would like to tweak this and of course the only app that comes close to this as at this point with all of the tool set that is available is the folks at Relution. But then the folks at Epic Games are trying as much as possible to make sure that you have these things in your hands. Now this tool is a tool that you will be able to get sometime in 2021 but then if you've seen any of the digital humans you can tell that this thing is high quality now the folks at epic games are also announcing the fact that this is a tool that you can work with but one thing to keep in mind is that the meta human creator is going to be a cloud-based application that you can work in real time so in case you want to create digital humans as clean as these ones then you will be able to access this online for those who are thinking about you know working with something like this offline if, if it's going to be something that you have access to download and keep i don't think that's going to be a possibility and so far so good if you take a look at what we have right here which is uh, the supposed ui i mean up until this time of the trailer you would notice that we have a section for the face the skin makeup and we also have the hair now this hair section looks very nice and i think and i hope that this is uh, heavily implemented in a lot of other tools and this has to do with the head hair we also have the beard hair and also the mustache and that also goes the same thing actually goes for the eyes and also for the body so hopefully we would be getting some updates and you know things and down there you would also notice or down here you would also notice that we have things like blend we have the move sculpt and preview so it, it looks very you know it looks very cool and uh i think it is going to be a tool that would definitely change how a lot of people create things i mean look at the detail and look at how lovely these things are now this is uh something that i would really really like to play with especially when this is out and you can also tell that within the skin they also have those very nice uh, skin details that you like to play with all of that imperfections in terms of freckles and also uh, all those wrinkle stuff that you might want to play with I just hope to see what we can get in uh, the eyebrows and also see things that will be available for the body now for the body there are things like the shoes and bottoms so probably there is also going to be some additional props that will be coming right here and there is also this section that talks about the level of detail that you would definitely want to export your tools at or you, you know export your models at. so this looks uh, this looks very nice and uh, yeah this is this is more like it I don't really think that maybe there's gonna be an animation right here but something else which is also lovely that I've also come to notice is you could actually do all of the tweaking directly on the UI and uh, this would save a lot of time I mean instead of dialing buttons up and down you can do all of that tweaking directly on the UI and save yourself so much time and create that awesome stuff that you want in less than you know less than 30 minutes or so and from the folks at Epic Games they're also saying that with a tool like this you can select from around 30 different styles of hair and uses things directly in Unreal Engine and at the same time you can use strand based hairs and you can also choose to use cat based hairs depending on the platform of your choice so my guess is at the end once you're working with a tool like this which is going to be online obviously you can actually export this as they are also saying that you'll be able to download these when you're happy with the performance or you know you're happy with the human you've created you can download the asset via quick sell and you know this is going to be fully rigged and ready for animation and motion capture as well and they're also looking at the fact that at the end of the day if you also want to download this directly into your dcc app that the source file or the source data would be in form of a maya file which would include the meshes skeletons facial rig animation controls and also material i mean it's not something that you should uh you know feel too new about if you are thinking about why is it going to be in maya why is it not going to be in other apps because the folks at epic games are working with this huge you know digital company giants like the digital domain dynamics xyz faceware jolly speech graphics cubic motion and so on and so forth and it's very clear that all of these companies that i've mentioned and also the associate companies work majorly with maya so it comes as no surprise and uh, i guess that's just it so just in case you have no idea what these companies or who these companies are dynamic xyz is known for their macaless facial motion capture 
And uh, it's also very clear that if you also take a look, you would notice that I guess they're working with the folks at, you know, Apple, since they're also providing support for AR kits as well. And we're also seeing that the DL, 4d these guys are also having uh some support from them and at the same time the folks at digital domain we've seen a couple of works from them pretty cool work so these are the folks that they are offering support for so we've seen a lot of tools and uh we've also seen a lot of integration and also collaboration between them and the folks at cubic motion so all of these things are tying together to understand why they will be providing support for companies like this so these are like uh some of the companies that they've been working with and it just simply makes sense to see that they have support for them right from the start and so if you want to get your hands on it you want to be able to play with it use it when this actually launches you can simply go over to the link in the description which i'm going to put right here where you can register so that once this app drops sometime in 2021 you will be the first to know so once you go over here you click on the register for updates you'll be able to get frequent updates with the latest development and you know once you do that you'll also get a page like this that thanks you for subscribing and uh, doing all of that stuff so there's a project file that is available that you can download and if you also go over to the marketplace you will be able to have access to that so right here within the marketplace you'll be able to have access to this you can download it you can play with it and you can actually see some of this high quality stuff that is going on here this doesn't come cheap as this is a four gig of data so sometime within the week we're going to do a full review and talk about this and see how it works but right now this is a four gig of data file so just in case you want to download this you need to actually keep this in mind something else which you also need to keep in mind is this is only supported for unreal engine 4.26.1 and above so if you have anything less than this uh, i kind of think that you should count yourself out for this one It'll probably updates for something like that and there are also some technical details which you wouldn't see right here that i'm going to read out for you guys that exist within so let's scroll all the way up that exists right here within the, you know the resources and the documentation one of the things that you need to also keep in mind is that the file that you're going to be working with needs to be ray traced a lot all right so you need because of the the quality of stuff that you're going to be getting you need that ray tracing so for that you need a graphic card that supports ray tracing another thing to keep in mind is you need to be on windows as this supports direct x 12. So these are some of the things that you need to keep in mind and uh also for those who are excited about things you're wondering you know what can this tool do what can i do with it yeah there are certain things that you can do once you open this file you would notice that it comes with a couple of folders these folders include like the common the human one and also the human four which are like the test human characters that you'll be getting within the sample file and at the same time you would also notice that you have things like you know fully done hair you'd also notice that you have fully rigged and also animated characters that you can play with you can also see that you know you can retarget characters i mean retarget animation to the characters which simply looks very interesting so we might actually try that one as well and you can also see that they have several modes and also behavioral things that's going on in terms of the control rigs and how the control actually works you could also take a look right here and you would notice that we have some nice uh facial controllers all right so there is a control rig for the face and there is also a fully done control rig for the characters so for those who are wondering you might also find this one there there's clothes and physics which is pretty nice and these are things that we can look at or things that we would look at and you could also see the level of details so let's actually open this one up so we can take a look at the level of details and this is going to be very useful for those who would want to see these things up close depending on what you want to work with you know what you want to use this for so if you're working with a game engine and you want to see it like this okay and uh i think it travels all the way up to a point like this from the trailer the hair system looks pretty nice i mean from the teasers which i've seen i think the hair system looks pretty pretty nice and you can also read more about the details and also see some of the cool things that happens right here in terms of platform that this supports this is uh, supported for both windows you can see that there xbox playstation 4 and also android and you know you can also tell that the level of detail varies across all of these things so beautiful stuff right here if you want to see more about it you want to read more about these things I'm definitely going to put a link in the description so you guys will take a look at it meanwhile a couple of you guys have already started asking is this going to replace the tool sets that you have and you know what where does this actually come in play and i think these two 
uh, has a couple of things that I think you guys need to consider. First things first, it is not going to be an offline tool. So for those who would like to work offline, you want to work without internet in some places or at certain times, you might not necessarily, you know, invest into this one because this is very cloud based. And that is uh, that's one thing you need to keep in mind. Another thing which you need to keep in mind is if you don't have the gear, you don't have all of the uh, things that are specified for this, you might also want to either upgrade or skip this one for now until you get all of those things are uh, ready to go. Now, this is still available for test as the sample file is available right there. So for anyone who would like to test the sample files, yes, you can. There's also something that I'm willing to see. And I guess this is uh, one of those things that a lot of people will gravitate towards and that has to do with if this tool can automatically generate humans from a single image and that's a big question a lot of people might ask and uh, i guess if this is something that is you know plausible or something that is available or something that they can implement then lots of people will love to work with this either than that uh this is more like another character creator that you can work with and it is just very, very lovely to see the high fidelity detail that you can get out of these things. I mean, just look at the skin, look at the quality of the teeth, the eyes, and also how smooth this entire thing actually looks when they are in motion. And of course, huge shout out to the folks at Epic Games for actually throwing this teaser out and also working on these things and making sure that we get a glimpse of it even before it's released. So tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. For those who would like to test these things out, you can simply go over to the link in the description and register so that you will be able to have a first look on these tools, you know, and, and you know, see what's going on with it and definitely uh, get your hands on it once they this gets available. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.